Family Woods at the Long Island Gynecomastia Center, Long Island, New York. So I had surgery today, but I always call my patients 24 hours before the surgery to kind of go over everything. And the guy uh, um, actually was flying in from uh, um, another state, and he said, Doc, I'm so sorry, I've got a family emergency. I've got to postpone it. I said, let me give you your money back. He said, no, no, this will take a couple of weeks, and then I'll be back. So keep the money, and, uh, and we'll reschedule, and I'll call you, you know, sometime uh, beginning of July after July 4th. To reschedule. Anyway, on this guy, he uh, is uh, two days uh, out from a uh, gynecomastia gland removal and a nipple lift. Now, he had gynecomastia gland surgery from another doctor, a less experienced doctor, a less uh, talented doctor, a less handsome doctor mm -hmm. a couple years ago, and just the glands were still there. The nipples were drooping. So we kind of said, okay, what are we going to do? Should we do a lot, little lipo? Because he had a, a lot of weight loss uh, younger, and, at younger, and you can see by his uh, stretch marks. So we were originally going to do vaso high definition lipo, blah, 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 this and that. And then, you know, I, I said, come on in. I'm not sure that's the right operation. He came in again, and we said, no, let's remove the glands. We see it's still substantial glands there. And, you know, you can reference this to the live surgery, you know, two days ago. And I said, let's, let's remove the gland and do a nipple lift. So he is now two days. These are steri strips. And steri strips get a little funky, a little bit. So I've got detachol. See, that's detachol right there. And that's massasol. That releases the tape and that sticks the tape. So uh, very gently remove it. You don't want to pull at this. At all. Again, this is live, so everything I'm doing, I'm showing everybody. And Dr. Leibowitz does it perfectly and does it right and does it the first time. So let's go over here. Be careful not to pull anything. You know, a little, a little bleeding there because I'm pulling a, a, a scab off. There we go. And these are gorgeous, at least this side. <laughs> That's just gorgeous. Absolutely freaking gorgeous. All right. So we're going to clean up with some soap and water. Put a little alcohol on here first. Get them nice there. And let's uh, attack the other side. So that's my detach wall. Come around side two. Yeah, look at your shoes. I like those shoes. Oh, thanks. Show you when you get some shoes. Hondas. Uh, Hondas. <laughs> Hondas? Yeah. Like the car? Yeah. Special edition shoes. Ooh, fancy. Fancy pants. <laughs> <laughs> so here we go on this side. Again, gently. Don't want to pull anything. And also, the size of his nipples are reduced. Because they kind of stretched out. Perfect. All right. And that side too. And again, I guarantee my results. So as this heals, and they're going to shrink up and stuff more. This, I think, has a little fluid on this side. This side, I don't think you can push in there. It's got like a, you know, a fingerprint there. This side, I think, has a little bit of, um, of fluid. So we're going we're gonna to get that out. So that side, too. So I'm going to now wash them down. Good old soap and water. You know, soap and water cures everything. A little, little warm water. A little, a little soap. Yeah. There you go. Goody. And just kind of let it be. Wash it. Get little germy germs off of it. See, this side's a little more, more shrunken, this side's a little bit bigger, but I think there's a little fluid in there that's puffing that one out. And again, if he says, Doc, I want a little, you know, smaller nipples, we do it. Um, with his color skin, you gotta be careful not to be so aggressive because the, the worst thing you can do is create bad scars. So this one's perfect, this one's a little bit bigger. You know, we wait till the winter time, six months, and we just do a little donut excision around it. And uh, um, take some more out. And again, I want to make sure my main thing is to not give him scars that 
either one of us will regret. Okay, so um, sometimes I poke a little hole in there. This one I'm just gonna stab over here. I think there's a little fluid. Might be, might feel a little bit, might be a little numb. And let's see if I get a little fluid. There we go. A little bit out. It's not gonna be much. This is a three cc syringe. Maybe I'll get two out, one out. And again, you know, I follow my patient, so. He's gonna come back and he's local. If you were somewhere like in another state, we FaceTime and we, believe it or not, we do this while you FaceTime. But this is fine, there's not much there. Let me see. Good. All right. And. All right, so you can see already the, so this was like one cc in there. And one cc makes a difference. Good. There you go. And you can see that that's all, all better now. Good, so I got about about one cc out. And I don't think I need to do this side at all. That side is good. Don't have to stab him on that side. Let me do one more time on this side. But again, he's gonna come back. Uh, so that's good. Let me do that one more time. This little bit of scar tissue can create uh, fluid. Lift up all the way there. Oh, that's, see that? You can see the nice concavity there when he lifts. So I don't think there's anything there more. But let me lift up there. Yeah, see, that's nothing. This side is good. Let me do one more little thing. Push right there. You all right? Yep. Sorry about that. Let me push the fluid down. Squeeze it. Let's see if I get any bit out. Nah. That's enough. That's enough. Uh, put that down there. Wash it one more time. Cleanliness, cleanliness. Good. All right. Beauteous. Yes. Good. This side's a little bit bigger. Um, the nipple diameter. So, you know, this side's actually perfect. So, if we need to go back, simple little operation, there's no charge for that. This perfection is my middle name. And we'll do that. So, that's a little soap and water. There's a little alcohol. And I think instead of him messing with this and, and putting cream on there for the next couple of days, let him just, uh, just kind of leave these dressings on. So now we, we wipe them, keep it dry. Okay, so now we have, we did the detach all now we put the master saw, which is like glue, liquid glue. Good. Make sure it's dry. And just put it around there. Like so. Good. Someone said, definitely need to see before pics of the video of this patient. There's actually, yeah. um, before videos, there's a live surgery on the channel about two, three days ago. Yeah, look at And uh, there's plenty of posts if you look about two, three days ago um, regarding this patient. And he's local, unlike a lot of my patients who travel from all over the world. He's local, so you're gonna, you're gonna, get, you're gonna get some nice, uh, some nice satisfaction, <laughs> the results. Good, so that's the glue. Let that dry for a minute. Let me 
I'll put on my caps. Good. Yeah, right there. I've already cut the uh, the, st the uh, steri strips to these little butterflies. Make sure it's dry. One across here, like that. One across there, like that. And we'll do a little triangle. One across there, like that. Do it again. Two layers of it. Good. 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 And that's all it is on that side. <clears throat> and do the same thing on this side. there and very important to note for all you people out there is that who's doing this distressing change is it an ma or a nurse or is it dr lebo it's me i'm doing the dressing change so i want to see everything and look at everything in my experience and not just have a nurse do it you know and me come in for five minutes and say hi. Cool. Good. Who's the only one who, who did anything touched yet stuff? <laughs> <You>. Me. <laughs> good. All right. So that's good. All right. I'll probably just for the heck of it, put a little, one more little uh, dressing on this. Just cover it, make sure it's nice. You can take this off, you know, like when you shower. Next. I might need extra. Yeah. Well, you don't need these, but I'll give you um, the, the steri strips. Again, I don't know if I want you to change them. Yeah, you know, I, pull I, them yeah, off. Yeah, I, I don't want you to change those. But I could wash over these. Um, well, this get you can wash over these. Yeah, the, yeah not this. Right okay. You know, I mean, you can wash it, um, and then take it off after you shower. Make right. it easier to pull it right. when it's wet. But those that triangle of the steri strips, you leave leave them. Okay. All right. So uh, we're going to show you pre and post op photos in a couple of days when, when we stand them up and you can see the big difference. But I'm telling you, and, and he's nodding, there's a huge difference in, in the results. And you can roll it or just kind of cup your hands and kind of do that, all right? Okay. Uh, there's a compression garment he's gonna wear for six weeks and no working out for two weeks sure. from surgery. But he can do some squats and do sure. some, some leg work and stuff. Um, oh, so there you go. Dr. Leibowitz, Long Island Gynecomastia Center, gentleman uh, who is a revision surgery from a, a, a less, lesser doctor, less experienced, uh, less quality work, uh, less personality, less good looks. Um, <laughs> it's not the best looking gynecomastia <laughs> surgeon there is. Um, no, I'm kidding. I'm sure there's more better looking than me. Um, but, I, uh, but I guarantee my results. So he's... Uh, 48 hours post-op, and he looks great. He's going to come back, uh, I don't know, end of the week, maybe weekend if that's easier for you. Yeah, the weekend's good. And we'll do it again. Dr. Leibowitz, 631-424-0101, or email me at johnleibowitzmd at gmail.com, where you are being taken care of like a movie star. Thanks, and see you soon. Good.